Hey beauties, welcome on what's popping. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So these are the nails that I'll be doing for today's video. I'm really excited about these. So yeah. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Bear Beauty. Thank you guys so very much for clicking on today's video. Um, this video is going to be very excited. Hopefully, it's very informative. Hopefully, I can actually talk you guys through what I'm doing because I tend not to be, you know, so effective when it comes down to explaining what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'll try to explain as best as possible so if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do so like comment down below if you wish and also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok sorry about that I don't know why people like calling you know when I'm trying to do this voice over and try to get this video up so I don't know where I don't know where I... this is so annoying so yeah so if you have not already subscribed, subscribe, follow me on my social medias, um, which is Instagram and TikTok. And if you definitely want to be up to date with me, you definitely can follow me on TikTok. So in today's video, I will be doing some tinted monomer with some clear. If you guys have not seen the trend that is going around right now, yes, you need to hop on it. But let me tell you something. I'm very familiar with tinting uh, monomer, so I'm not, I'm not far at all. So you can check out my videos down below, like at the ratchet pass when I started my YouTube channel. You can go and check it out. So what I'm doing right here is I tinted my money to orange and then I use it clear because I wanted a jelly effect on these nails because I'll be going in with some polish to intensify these nails. And I also wanted a crystal crystal end. Um for some I don't know. I don't know. I was inspired by a nail that I saw in print in print. <laughs> Pinterest and I was like mmm this is interesting I should try it and I think that's where I got the the jelly effect from um so yeah so that's what I did so I am taking my clear at the end so I don't really need to encapsulate the whole entire nail thank god um so I went in at the um the halfway um down the nail with the clear and I encapsulate each encapsulate you hear that <laughs> This is crazy. You encapsulate each and every one of these nails. Then I'll be going in with my E file. This is the one eight sanding band. This is the softest good I think. Um, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. So I'm taking the E file, going around the cuticle area on the side while ensuring that these nails are, you know, straight as possible. Um, ensuring that it don't have a barrel because I definitely don't like when it's very rounded. Um, so this part was very easy because I was working with clear so it was a little it was a lot tougher than if you're handling you know like a cover color or a pigment color so yeah so this pig, this color was very flat so it was very easy to file um these are this is one of the parts that I do enjoy the most doing filing my nails filing it to perfection look at that it is so bomb that come so after that is done I will buff wash my hands and then I'll come back with the ombre part of it so i'll be going in with the sponge and the orange this is bright orange i think or neon neon orange i think it's one or two of them it's still orange so i'll be taking the the, the, the sponge and sponging on the color onto the nails because i want to intensify it a little bit more um getting that a, a smoother transition because i when i was doing the orange um the the first step the first step of using the tinted morning more I wasn't getting the color that I wanted so I decided okay all right, let me go in with the orange to kind of identify the things and it really did work out so I did like three three um <laughs> I repeated this method like three times to get the color that I wanted 
and then I went in with my top coat I top coat twice because I didn't like how it was bulking up the color was bulking on me so I um, encapsulated it twice and then after that it's done I'll cure for 60 seconds each and then I'll remove the shine off the nails and draw the clouds If you guys have not already checked out my cloud nails, my attempt, my very first attempt on my channel, I will link it in the iCard so you guys can definitely check it out. So I have a different standard, a different method of doing that cloud. Um, so I decided to, you know, try something else. I was, and I saw the dotting tool. I was like, why don't I try the dotting tools to get the gradient of each of these, you know, clouds? So what I'm doing right here is I start at the very peak and working it down at an angle, so you guys can see the outline of each of these clouds it was very easy i thought this method was very easy very more very much effective than the the the, the um the first one that i did the first clothes that i actually did which you know it's a learning lesson for everything everything you're going, you're going to find things a little bit more easier when you do things differently or you know whatever so yes so that's what i'm doing and then i'll take after that is done i'll then take my poly gel brush because I, the poly gel brush has a more oval shape to it so it was perfect to um, remove some of this black so I dip my brush into the acetone and tap at the tip of each of these clothes to you know get that transition going to make it look like you know of a more softer softer clothes so that's what I'm doing for each of these clothes <laughs> clothes are done I'm going in with a detailed brush going over the clothes just to define the coat um, you know curves a little bit better and then I'll cure for 60 seconds I was in love with these clothes I was in love with these clothes so after this was done I cured for 60 seconds because this just polish is a mess so I cured always for 60 seconds after I outline each of these nails and after that is done I will go in and draw my coat and coat my bats which definitely don't like a bat but it kind of do represent a bat um, I was going in and drawing you know the birds the bird bats on each of these nails oh look at that it's so cute i really enjoyed doing this set. i hope you guys will enjoy you know watching me doing this set. or you can even try it out for yourself you can use different colors um when you're doing this but i really enjoyed it it gave me a halloween vibes which i was you know excited about so after i'm done with you know drawing my birds i'll go in again and coat my nails twice with my gel top coat and cure for 60 seconds on the last coating of um the the top coat i'll then apply some AP, abp crystals i don't know if i'm saying that right some crystals onto the nail which represent stars because i was battling whether or not if i wanted to draw stars and my stars were looking horrible when i went in to draw them so i decided to add some small crystals onto these nails and it turned out so bomb so good so mm, yeah so if you guys do like don't forget to subscribe like comment down below i hope you guys like what learned something from this video because i'm definitely the most harmless person to, um explaining stuff like this like i suck at it um so yeah so i hope you guys do enjoy don't forget to follow me on my social medias at tiktok and instagram at bare beauty services and if you definitely want to be up to date with more you definitely can follow me on tiktok and yes guys i hope you enjoy <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video